all right guys so we are at AWS management console so you can start typing the name of the service let's say it's CloudTrail for this example so now you will land in the welcome page for the CloudTrail you can see the option create trail because you do not have any trail created yet on this account and you can have some recent events information so this is the dashboard in the event history you can have all the information regarding various resource types events that are happening in the AWS and it includes of both API and non API calls being made by a user by a particular service for example any instance ID is calling particular service you can have all the information and you can view the event in JSON format at what exactly happened so this is more uh, into the audit and especially in the security team uh, for them this is a single source of truth so that's why we are ena enabling this cloud trail because once the cloud trail is enabled we have the information stored in the s3 bucket this s3 bucket could be in a local account or it could be in a centralized account example if you have five aws accounts like dev qs production non-production or test you can have a centralized s3 bucket in one of the landing zone or one of a, one of account central account so in that way you are actually centralizing the log management and the security team can actually leverage that s3 bucket to use any siem or casb to have any particular custom alarms on those particular events like get object put object or any user they want to monitor any of the activities so that is something uh, this is very useful insights insights is a new offering for cloud trail is recently being enabled from AWS side in insights what you can do you can actually run custom queries just like a database queries and you can have information regarding that particular activity so you can have at least 90 days of the events you can see from here if you want to see further events like for the last six months you have to use kinesis and you have to make sure you have s3 bucket enabled so once the logs are stored in the s3 you can leverage cloud trail and kinesis to visualize and to get more insightful information trails will give you information of all the existing trails that you have so for the record you can have more than one trail for account so this is a new account right now so this is a new setup so let's say is we are creating our first trail right just click on create trail give a meaningful name here let's say your company name is ABC and this is your development account you just give trail information apply trail to all regions you can choose yes or no based on your setup management events we're just gonna keep it default like that is read write KMS events yes insight events you can choose yes or no this is more granular uh, trailing that you want to enable on your account I'm just gonna keep it no as of now because if you enable this uh, feature there will be additional charges because there will be more right API calls being recorded and AWS give you only a few thousand API calls free in a cloud trail if you exceeded like 100,000 API calls API non API calls if you exceeded that limit they will start charging you so make sure you choose only those services that is necessary and you have a budget for that one data events is something is again optional uh, this is more into you know get object put object so you can see here so the example of data events are any API activity including get object delete object or put object is being recorded here so that means if you're using AWS CLI and you are someone is logging any uh, using any credentials of a programmatic access and they're running any queries any CLI commands or get object it will all be recorded here this is more into a granular option that you can have so you need to specify the s3 bucket with the prefix that what is the prefix for that particular call so you can easily identify those logs you can also use lambda function for this one okay in our case uh, we're just gonna create a new s3 bucket or use an existing one so let's say no and you have to choose the bucket name 
so it's always good to have a bucket uh, created before so i just create an empty bucket known as abc dev cloud trail bucket i can show you over here in the services so if you go to sv management console you have a bucket name cloud trail bucket so i specifically give name as a cloud trail bucket so it's easy to identify and over here we do not have any objects yet so going back to cloud trail management console so we have chosen the bucket name where are all the logs will be stored you can go to advanced and give a prefix something like this you can give anything if you want so I'll just give ABC trail okay encrypt log files with KMS you can use encryption if you really want to enable log validation yes if you want to put any SNS you can enable it so like anything any particular log entry if you want to enable it you have to choose a topic any API call non API call being made it will trigger an SNS notification you can add tags if you want you can give an ad tag you can say name or you can say account I would say it is ABC dev and that's it just click on create so just to recap to get started what is the minimal things you need to enable you need to give a cloud trail name the rest all you can keep it as default and second thing is you need to give an s3 bucket if you have an existing bucket you can choose no and give a name otherwise you can just create a new s3 bucket from here itself you can give log prefix it's of it's a, uh, always uh, optional and and tag is also optional so basically you just need to give two options just click on create all right so you can see this is the trail name the region insights the organization trail is no because we do not own any organization this is a standalone account the s3 bucket name the log prefix and status one thing to notice cloudwatch logs group it is not there so this is a very good practice and most of people generally miss this part if you want to enable any cloudwatch logs or any cloudwatch alarms like any failed API calls and unauthorized account login the use of root user account if someone make any changes in the security groups and there are so many other security concerns that actually comes into the picture if you do not enable the cloudwatch logs group for cloud trail you cannot set up that in cloudwatch so in order to do that it's very easy and straightforward once you create a cloud trail just click on the trail that you have just created scroll down over here we have options configure cloudwatch to monitor your cloud trail, uh, cloud trail logs so click on configure you can set it the name of particular just give a default i'll just give a default and click on continue so either you can choose a new im role or you can choose an existing im role if you have anything so this is uh, the policy that is attached to this particular role so this is by default so we just gonna use a by default because that's that makes sense for our case right now we're just gonna say allow and that's it just a quick recap again so what you guys did today you just went to services you just choose cloud trail and you just went to trails you choose an option create trail this is the name that you have to give to get started scroll down keep everything as default and choose the location where you want to store the logs it could be a new bucket or existing bucket just give a name and just create a bucket that's it so once the bucket is created you have to enable the cloudwatch logs scroll down go for cloudwatch log groups keep all the settings as default hit next and just create a new cloudwatch log group where all the logs will be stored and you can now uh, create custom cloudwatch alarms on this cloudwatch log group so this is a cloudwatch log group this is a trail 
logs that you have and here we go so you have all the uh, information all the logs started to being exported here so you can run custom queries on these logs you can get custom alar uh, alarms on this one and this is the way you can actually audit your infrastructure so anything you know, that actually happened in your account you want to investigate so this is a single source of truth for you i hope you guys enjoyed this video so if you like uh, this video and found it informative please uh, hit the like button and subscribe so i'll see you in my next video thank you for watching